I'm an Adobe Illustrator and I wanted to show you a live version of how I work with typography and design, especially multiple word phrases or sentences. So I have three simple words here, typography and design. And what I want to do is kind of play around with the type a little bit and see if there's any uh, really nice uh, white space areas where I can tuck certain characters within each other. So I have this kind of nice place to put the ampersand here, and I'm going to uh, pick a font that I think really is going to work, and I think a serif font is going to work for this particular uh, piece. So I'm going to uh, have a little bit of balance with these three words. So I'm going to make certain ones bigger. I don't really want to emphasize the and as much, so I'm going to make typography and design a little bit bigger. And notice that little spacing right there where the P drops down, and there's a little bit of spacing between the D and the I. So I'm kind of tucking those together so it looks like it fits like a puzzle piece. And the same thing with this ampersand. I'm kind of finding a nice way to, to almost put these together. Like I said, a puzzle piece. It feels like they belong together, nestled together. Together. So I feel like I, I like the font choice. I like the overall um, look of how everything is tucking together. I'm just going to put this behind a simple, maybe a purple background to kind of find the right shade, right color. Of course, I got to play around a little bit with uh, the shade to make sure I like it. And the great thing about putting on a background, you can really start to play with color as a way to also uh, diversify your type a little bit and bring out certain words over others. So now I feel like I can play around with that ampersand a little bit with the color. I'm going to actually, I've just taken my eyedropper tool and highlighting the, the purple shade I created. And I'm actually going to just make a little bit of a lighter shade of the background shade. So it has more of a subtle appearance. It's not harsh. And so it kind of fades in the background a little bit, but it's still very readable. So let's play around with a much longer headliner phrase. So I went ahead and found a quote by Dr. Seuss, don't cry because it's over, smile because it just happened. I love this little quote and I think it's nice and long and we'll be able to create a really nice stacked design, quote design, that will really help us practice our typography skills we just learned. When you have a much longer phrase like this and you need to make it all readable, large, and in a nice designed headline, I usually like to start with the beginning few words and I cut and um, paste uh, different words out so I can create different lines. So in this case, I'm going to start with don't. I feel like that's a nice word to stand on its own. And so I'll go ahead and copy and paste don't in its own um, kind of area. So I'm trying out a different bold font. Um, I want to do a mixture of sans serif and serif fonts. I also want to make sure I mix my bold fonts and counter that with some lighter fonts. So we're going to be doing that throughout this entire um, little lesson we're doing here. So I don't really like this apostrophe, so I'm changing that apostrophe out to, to one I think will be a little bit uh, smoother or nicer with what the look we're trying to go for. So now I'm going to grab the because word and um, create a separate line for that. And we're going to continue to create separate lines until the entire phrase is created. And the reason I do that is because I am going to shake it up with bold and light and italics. And I want to have all this as separate text boxes so I can have greater control over that. So right now I'm speeding up the process by three times the normal uh, speed that this was filmed in, just so I can show you it's a very tedious process of cutting and pasting uh, words out of the main phrase that I think will go well together. Um, so I put don't cry because and then it's over on its own line. And right now I'm playing with the word smile, trying to find the right font. I really wanted to accentuate this because I think that was that, that's the main attraction to this quote is the word smile. So now you're starting to see the quote come together as a nice blocked out design. So I have everything kind of separate. I can start to play around with the font types a little bit now that they're all separated. It's not one big block of text. So you're going to see me continually play around with this. I've actually sped this up to uh, another fast three times the normal speed because it does take a little while to play around. And I'm, I'm uh, kind of adjusting the because a little bit, those two because words, I made them lighter. So it counters all that bold font. And you notice I'm trying to experiment, I actually separated don't cry into separate words. So I can try to maybe have, instead of having it a big block, kind of having this nice flow from left to right to left to right as it goes down the page. 
and actually made cry the same uh, type as smile and that gave me more opportunity and more white space created by uh, the, that negative space. I'm able to kind of tuck some of those other words um, inside. So if you notice between the Y and the I to the left, I'm able to put because it's over in that nice little space and that, that really works well. So I'm gonna keep going with that. So I spent another 15 minutes uh, finalizing this and this is the final uh, version that I came up with and I ended up actually doing a two-toned so I can uh, have it more readable. So I did the don't cry because it's over in white and the smile because it happened in a, a little bit darker color that kind of matches the orange. It's just a darker shade. So I felt like all of that kind of read better. I tucked in of course our Dr. Seuss here at the bottom right and everything seems to flow from the top left all the way down to the bottom right. So hopefully this little project, I did it in about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, just taking one kind of longer sentence and kind of creating this little quote box. Um, this is the kind of stuff that you'll learn how to do over, over practice and time. And, and because you could have a solid foundation of typography, uh, you're gonna be able to kind of put this all together nicely.